Hey, it's David Miller with the Miller Group of Keller Williams Realty. I'm here to help you get real estate smart. All right, the new real estate stats just came out this morning, and I'm here to interpret that data for you. So stay tuned, and I'll let you know what's going on. All right, so hot off the presses here. I always like to start with inventory. It's always about supply and demand. So supply went up 2% versus this same time last month. So that's good, but it's not as much as it should be, okay? We're about to get into June. School's out in two weeks, and we should have more inventory on the market. Now, it's not all bad. If you compare it to this same time last year, we still have about 96% more homes on the market than there was same time last year. So that's good news. So why is it still not where it needs to be? Well, because people are not putting their houses on the market. New listings are down 6% versus last month. They should be way up. I'm about to cry here because we need listings here. Compared to last year, they're 26% lower. A lot of people are just holding on to those 3% interest rates and they don't want to let them go. So that is creating another inventory issue because with less inventory on the market, there's, it's going to start affecting the, the closings. As a matter of fact, it is. Closings are down 6% versus last month and they're down 27% versus the same time last year. So we desperately need inventory on the market because it's definitely affecting the amount of supply out there. Now, demand is still pretty high. It's still relevant based on what is going on with the interest rates. Interest rates actually went down in April from 6.7% to 6.4%. I'm going to tell you this. I'm going to tell you again, when it gets below and it will drop by the end of the year or the first part of next year, when it drops, and if inventory is still low, which I expected to be low, it's going to turn into a similar market to what it was during COVID, where it's going to be crazy. Let's talk about pricing. How is this affecting the pricing? Well, the median price right now is $370,000. If you compare that to last year, it's exactly the same price as it was last year. Now, compared to last month, it's actually gone up 1.7%. If you remember last uh, month when I did this for you, it went up, I think, 2%. So we're starting to start to see price increases again, and that's because supply and demand. Demand is still pretty strong, not strong like COVID strong, but very strong, and inventory is still low. That's starting to affect the days on market. The average days on market went up to 60 days. That's average days before you go into contract. Last month, it dropped down to 57, and now it's dropped down to 52. So once again, the interest rates are going to affect that market. So if we take a look around, this is a great time to put your house on the market because we have a lot of buyers in there. Summertime, school's out. Everybody wants to move this time of year. So if you're thinking about selling, give us a call. We'd be glad to help you out. And I hope that you are now real estate smart.